Hey, what's going on, y'all? Again, apologize for the voice, but the message has to be given. Now, this is a part two to marriage, children, and protection. And, um, you know, to put it very concisely, people have to understand that marriage was designed to be in the worship and purpose for a living for the biblical God. It is no, of no value to yoke yourself with someone just to extort them, just for you to manipulate each other for things. That will never work out. So, you know, I just hope people can understand why uh, it's failing in today's society. Why? Um, because the whole foundation of marriage leads to families, leads to communities, leads to power within a local government, leads to a privatized economy within the people. We have none of that in particularly the black community because we lack the values of God, the biblical God. I mean, you know, people have to be very careful about this unbelief because if you expect any kind of order and design to come from a union, there is no order and design if you just feel yourself to be an animal who justifies any behavior to acquire anything in a immediate sense of gratification. Um, and for all of those social justice warriors out there, um, if you are not a believer, what is your basis of social justice? There is no social justice in the jungle. It's survival of the fittest in the in the jungle. Eat or be eaten. You know, a lot of the expectation people have, they steal from a biblical principle. You know, people want all of the kindness, all of, all of the peace, all of the wisdom that only comes from the Bible. And they want to they want to extract all of that out while denying the very creator that provided those things. If you have to see yourself as a man or woman, an image bearer of the living God, then you understand the importance of reflecting his attributes and characteristics in a relationship, a family, your community, and throughout the world. Because for what you're really saying is that we need to be protected from ourselves. It is the selfish, um, hateful, you know, evil things in darkness of this world that unfortunately have overtaken most institutions. Even the educational system is indoctrinating kids not to think. And a lot of people are, are getting information that they cannot test in their own life. Even the science. I mean, the Big Bang Theory is the biggest example to how the indoctrination in the school system has failed people. That people actually believe that in some kind of logic or science realm, it makes sense that all of creation came from nothing. And now that they, they've actually realized that makes no sense. So now they're trying to say there was a singularity that they don't know what came from and, and they still can't explain how everything came from it. You know, it's like once you start, once you start a lie, you have to continue to build on that lie. And if they can convince you that you are an ape, that you are a primate, what they are doing is justifying more and more control over your life to put you more and more of in a cage because you lack self-control once they deem all evil as a mental behavior a mental illness they're justifying why they need more legal involvement to control you your very nature your very flesh is going to become your own prison 
all because we have denied the creator that brought us it created us and brought us to where we are you know um it's just weird man i mean you don't have to be a genius and you don't have to be a biblical scholar to look within yourself to understand your own flaws your own failures and understand that there is more to you there is some something within your spirit speaking to you against your own desires it's actually causing you to reprove and examine yourself. And don't say that that evolved. We're actually a conscious, reasoning uh, being capable of compassion, understanding, you know, expectation. You know, we all keep a universal standard of morality. And in a marriage, in a family, and in protection, all of those things are spiritual. Don't expect someone to care about you that doesn't value or know the worth of themselves. It's not going to happen. And people are just ex people have this weird expectation that oh, if you see someone, people should just see someone and help. People destroy themselves. If somebody can go and, and smoke a crack rock and think it's a good idea, what makes you think that they should help you in a bad situation when they can't pull themselves out of a bad situation? Where are people building this expectation, oh, but you should help me while I justify all the evil that another can do against you? The Bible is the answer to the human condition. The human depravity that comes from us rejecting our creator and the reveal and his revealed proven written word. People don't forget the Bible is a proven prophecy. There is no other doctrine that has prophecy, that has witnesses that were documenting in the in the presence of other eyewitnesses. There were people who who actually were like most of you, non believing. They thought this was crazy until they witnessed it for themselves and it changed how they saw everything to the point where the things that they valued no longer had value. And I'm not telling people that good things won't happen to you. What I'm telling you is that in a world of evil and deception, the cost of acquiring the things and resources you get will cost you the very uh, character and personal responsibility to keep those things from destroying you. It's just like fast money. The drug dealer has no principle. He just sees money and any means to get it until he has a gun pointed at his head or he's rotten in prison. It seemed like a good idea when you just was money uh, minded and same thing with the, with the women today. It seems like, oh, I could just put on a tight dress and go get some, some fool to throw me his money. Until you realize if that man is so weak that you can control him, you're not thinking what else, what other evils in society can control such a weak man. You will find no protection from his other evils. Anything you can control, something else can control. Women, you want a man that is spiritual. That is firm and, and rooted in the foundation of his creator. To have an understanding of right and wrong, not according to what benefits him in a situation or immediate gratification, but through proven wisdom. The Bible says wisdom uh, is justified of her children, meaning that the results of something often produce the value in the, in the wisdom of doing it. And sometimes it's not immediate. It's like being productive in a the business. There are minimalist principles. There are avoiding certain lavish behaviors so that, you know, you're thinking about building and working hard now to reap the benefits of something later. You want to have more expendable capital to invest in your business. It's not just to take the first few dollars you get and go trick off on some woman. 
You have to be disciplined and self-controlled in everything. And, you know, that's not going to come from people who are being led by their flesh and being deceived by their spiritual blindness. You know, um, I mean, marriages are a disaster. There are not many people who actually have that unconditional uh, support in their marriage. They, people are held hostage. You felt you have your, the gun to your head in a marriage is your job. And if you lose it, the trigger's been pulled. Your marriage is over. Your health is a gun in, in a marriage that's not spiritually grounded. The minute you lose it, you're alone. No remorse. Again, I challenge people to, to question, how can today's marriage be out of a biblical context when there exists no fault divorce? When people just simply say we have irreconcilable differences. Like we're not supposed to come together on a common purpose to serve something bigger than ourselves. And what is too big not to reconcile if, you know, outside of fornication and just mistreatment? You know, it's, 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 it's a disaster. The sexual freedom that people have been given is destroying the very things that people value. You know, people are using their youth, they're, they're wasting their youth. They're having children while they're children themselves. They lack the wisdom to raise a child and that child will grow up to lack the wisdom to avoid the problems in life. You know, particularly the black community is one big issue of personal responsibility. Regardless to the oppression in the system, the disenfranchisement in our communities, that has no bearing on our responsibility to understand that we have we are of a spiritual nature. To understand that the first standard of morality is the expectation you have of someone else to treat you to a certain standard. If a person complains or has an expectation of how they want to be treated, then they're not innocent. That is a line they've created to set a standard of morality. So for people who say, oh, I just didn't know, well, say that, you know, when someone else does something against you, have that same understanding. Well, they just didn't know. If you expect them to know something intrinsically obvious, then we should expect that of ourselves. And this is where people are losing the practicality of the biblical knowledge. You know, and people are reading the Bible with knowledge, not understanding um, wisdom. People are walking around with so many unanswered questions within. Why am I suffering? Why, why when I'm treating people nice, they treat me bad? The Bible is the only doctrine that answers these things. Why, when I work really hard in a company, I'm not appreciated. I'm more likely exploited and thrown away as expendable. Why are a woman using my kindness as leverage in a legal system that has been against me from the beginning? The Bible exposes the world, exposes the ways of the world. You know, just like you shouldn't spoil children. It's amazing. We're the only, we're the wealthiest country in the world where children are born for the most part having a place to live, having a refrigerator full of food. Um, these are things that the moment a child has to walk, they're in a field working. They're walking hundreds of miles because they're in a drought to find water. And that means at the moment that they're able to walk and think, they're in a pursuit to survive. And we think that we're so polarized with uh, entitlement in this country we don't realize our personal wealth even the worst circumstances in this country is wealthy in the worst countries of the world and we complain but this world was never this world was told to you that it was evil that is corrupt there is no good coming in the world there are only people who are being changed the world will not change biblically if you read uh, John 17, it says Jesus did not pray for the world. He prayed for those his father had placed in the world. Jesus knows that this world has been 
corrupted beyond repair. That all that the only thing that's worthwhile in this world is to save the, the lost souls that still yet need to come to him and want to come to him. You know, be productive, be responsible with what you have. Because if the world is so corrupt, and I tell this to the people who actually at one that agree that the system of the world is so corrupt, then how much more valuable is personal responsibility for you to make better choices in a system that doesn't have your best interest at heart? You know, stop, you know, acting like there's not a, a, a age of knowing right from wrong on the most basic level. You know, and it's because people are not being told about their own behaviors. And a simple correction is the only way you truly love somebody. If you saw a child running off a cliff, you wouldn't whisper in a kind, nice tone, say, hey, don't run. You would yell at them and tell them, stop as a cliff. You would be aggressive to do anything you could to keep them from killing themselves. But not in this world. You're afraid to offend somebody who's walking right into their own destruction because they're so blind by the truth that the truth has become hate to them. But y'all going to see. Y'all going to realize that somebody told you. So on that note, I'm done. Peace.